Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm super excited for this video because it is a collaboration with two of my really good friends here on YouTube, Aniela Kanikis and Karen Harris. If you're not familiar with them already, what are you doing with your life? This is like our third or fourth collab or something like that, so it feels repetitive to keep talking about how much I love them both, but I really do. I feel like they are such good role models to me and they're so authentically themselves. I really do feel so grateful to have such mature, genuine women friendships that I can go to with whatever it may be. And I think, you know, I feel like, especially with Valentine's Day, sometimes there's so much pressure or just focus on relationships that are only like significant other, but I feel like this can be just an amazing time to express your gratitude and to just be happy with the friendships in your life. Those are so equally important. I feel like everything is a balance. I don't know, I just think there's something so amazing about a group of women just supporting and going all out for each other. So we wanted to go ahead and do a Galentine's Day themed tutorial and to use all women own brand products, which is super fun. It definitely did take a little while. I went through my collection. I was researching all these different brands, brands I thought, brands I didn't know, like even like Fenty Beauty. I was kind of back and forth because Brianna is the CEO. She is the face of the brand, but she doesn't technically own it. So it was kind of going back and forth. I did the best that I could. So if there's anything and you're like, wait, no, that brand is actually owned by someone else feel free to let me know down below, but I wasn't going to go purchase products and spend money specifically to buy something that I already have 10 million other things of, but I thought this was a fun way to focus in on some amazing brands, some amazing women, and amazing products. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and jump right on in. I'm going to start off with my primer today, which is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich. It's one of my favorite primers ever, and fun fact, Glossier is owned by Emily Weiss, I want to say is how you pronounce her last name, and she was actually an intern on the hills, if anyone watched that. It's definitely one of those like guilty pleasure reality shows. I'm just going to go ahead and rub that in. All right, so for foundation today, I'm going to go into my Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Aberdeen. Juvia's Place is owned by Chi Chi Ibaru. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her last name correct, but she is Nigerian. I'm just going to go ahead and do a few swipes around my face. Nothing too much. I feel like it gives a good medium coverage, but I think it's always really, really cool to see, especially a woman-owned any brand, just do well, so well for itself and become such like a well-known name. It's so exciting. So I, of course, wanted to include Juvia's Place. I'm just going to go ahead and take my Sigma F80 and blend that into the skin. I actually don't think that I have a concealer from a woman-owned brand. I was looking through my collection. I thought maybe Milani because I remember hearing at some point that it was founded by a woman. I just looked it up and it was two siblings, man, a woman. I couldn't even find their pictures and they no longer own Milani. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of my Becca under eye correcting whatever it's called just to make my dark circles not so bad. Can you tell I haven't been sleeping as much as I should be? <laughs> and then I'm going to go into my lightest Juvia's Place stick foundation in the shade Tokyo and use that as my concealer. I'm only just going to use a little bit and then kind of highlight. And I'm going to go into a little bit more of a dense brush to blend that out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flower Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. I believe that Beauty Bakery is owned by Cashmere Nicole. I follow her on Instagram. It's a black-owned business, a woman, a woman of color-owned business, so that's really cool. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a tiny little setting brush. I just grabbed a little bit of that powder, tapping off the excess, and I'm going to go ahead and set underneath my eyes. I do like this powder. I feel like it gives kind of a blurring effect. It does show up a little bit yellowy on me, especially con depending on what concealer I put underneath it, because sometimes certain concealers and powders can react. So I don't find it to truly be translucent, just because I'm so, so pale. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also set the middle of my face lightly 
and then anywhere that I spot concealed. All right, for bronzer today, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Davina Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Sandbar. This is one of my favorite bronzers, and it's even more exciting because it's from an indie brand that I love. The only thing I don't like about this bronzer is the packaging. I feel like it's super hard to open, so I normally always end up using a pair of tweezers, but here's what it looks like. It's a super nice color, and I believe that Davina is ran by Deandra and her husband, but this was the first thing I thought of. It's one of my favorite bronzers. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. For blush, I'm going to go ahead and use my Alamar Cosmetics Colorate Blush Trio. I have the shade Medium Tan. I knew I wanted to talk about Alamar Cosmetics because I love them. I'm going to take the shade mm, Toasted because it's the most pinky one. And I'm just going to use a little bit. I really like the formula of this because I feel like it's more buildable. And even though it looks a little crazy there, it's going to blend out really nice. And so, I don't know. I just find it easy and not too much because some blushes can be too much really easily. Alamar Cosmetics is owned by Gabby T. MUA. Don't know what her full name is off the top of my head, but I really, really love her. I feel like she's such a girl boss. She's a Latina. And I just think that they've come out with really, really good products. Everything is good quality. They're actually sneak peeking something new. I think it's coming out the day before you see this video. So I can't wait to see what that is. I'm actually going with more. I know that's a little crazy, but I just feel like the pink blushy look is essential for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to leave my face at that for now. Actually, I think I'm going to use a setting spray just because I feel a little bit dry. I do not have any clue who owns Tatcha. I will look it up in a second, but I'm using my Tatcha setting spray. So Tatcha actually was owned and founded by a woman, Vicky... Sai, Vicky Tai, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, but she sold it for $500 million. Alright, so to prime my eyes today, I'm going to use my Anastasia Eye Primer. If you don't know, ABH, founded by Anastasia, Anastasia, not sure, Soar. I think I saw, I was looking too, and it was founded in 1997. Oh my gosh, I used way too much product, but I feel like she is a really amazing example of kind of the American dream. So even though I don't agree with everything that they've been doing recently, there's been some interesting business decisions. I still acknowledge how iconic Anastasia Beverly Hills is. I'm actually gonna go in with my sponge just to pick up any excess product because I went in with like twice the amount that I needed. All right, so for eyes today, I was thinking of doing a very classic pinky Valentine's-esque look, and I thought I would go ahead and use my Alma palette, my collaboration with Amy Hearts Beauty, which is a woman-owned brand. The errand owner's name is Dominique. And I also wanted to have a conversation about this palette while I do the look. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this shade here called Bloom as my transition. And I'm going to put that right through my crease and just start blending it out. So I feel it might just be me overthinking, but I feel like this palette is kind of a little bit of an elephant in the room. For me recently, I feel like I've had a lot of weight on my shoulders because everything with the palette didn't go perfectly. I feel like overall the reviews, like people liking the actual product have been pretty good. People like the color story. But unfortunately, there was definitely some issues with the palettes, for one, just taking a really long time to get to people, and also some shades arriving broken and then having to get replacements, and um, I know, I know that everything has not been perfect. I've heard you guys loud and clear. I have been privately apologizing to everyone who has reached out to me. I feel let down with myself by the idea that I could have disappointed any of you guys. I had creative control over the palette, but I had nothing to do with the shipping and the customer service and emails. Like I don't have any control over any of that, so I've just been trying to do the best that I can, and I just wanted to take this time to you know, say thank you for supporting me, but 
just sincerely apologize if you had a less than perfect experience. Um, if anything, just any part of the experience was not good for you, I'm so, so sorry. I really hope that you believe me and can hear my sincerity. I wanted everything to be perfect and it really hurts me that it wasn't. I'm gonna go ahead and take inspiration now on a little bit of a smaller blending brush. And I'm gonna pop that into my outer V. So I know I've heard you guys requesting for me to do more tutorials with Alma, which is why I really wanted to use it today. But it is a little bit bittersweet just knowing, like I said, that some of y'all are disappointed. There is no beef between me and Dominique or anything like that. Um, sometimes things don't go the way that they're planned. But I told her, I said, you know, my subscribers are my number one priority and y'all are who I care about. And if you trusted me and weren't happy, like that's like such a weight on me. And I'm not trying to sound like, like I don't wanna sound like I'm trying to get any pity, like, oh, I'm so sorry, like this is so hard for me. Like, I'm not trying to sound like that. It's just, I genuinely do care deeply and that's why it hurts me, but I'm not saying it hurts me so anyone feels bad. I don't know how to explain that. I feel like having this palette has definitely been an experience. There's been highs and lows and super exciting happy times and then also super stressful times. So I definitely have learned quite a lot. Sorry, I'm trying to balance talking and doing things at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and put Bloom on the lower lash line. I'm also gonna take some of inspiration on the lower lash line. And I guess in closing, I just wanna say that I hope if there was anyone that I let down that you know, you'll give me the opportunity to rebuild your trust in me, to forgive me, um, obviously I can't talk about everything behind the scenes on camera and I want to keep it classy and, you know, I'm not about the drama, but I just want you to know that your concerns, I acknowledge them and I've been taking care of them and trying to do as much as I can basically. So I hope you guys understand. Um, I did want to say that if you were still interested in purchasing Alma, that it is now on the clearance part of the Amy Hearts Beauty website. I believe it's available for $29. I'm not sure if my code Amy Loves applies on top of that so you can get it for even cheaper, um, but that is kind of like the last go, the last restock. It's not going to come back kind of thing. I know not everyone had a bad experience, but there's been so much positivity as well, which I really appreciate, so much love, which I feel so grateful for, but obviously when you see negative, 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 you just... You focus on it and I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to be able to be transparent with y'all. I don't want there to be elephants in the room. I don't want people to be wondering. So, I mean, if you have more questions, I'll answer them to the best of my ability down below, but I just wanted to talk about it. So I am gonna go back into my Alma palette in a moment, but I've done a look, like an all pink look like this before several times on camera, off camera. I'm pretty sure I did a pinky look. Um, Maybe I didn't do a tutorial of it, but I i don't know. I've showed this same look multiple times, so I wanted to switch it up a little bit. And I thought for Valentine's Day, I would go ahead and take my Natasha Nona Metropolis palette. You don't have to use Natasha Nona. I wanted to use her because I wanted to use her at some point during this video because I love her. I feel like she, again, is such an iconic woman and her brand is so, so good. Uh, but you could use any metallic red that you have. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. And I'm going to pop that red onto the outer half of my eye. I just thought it would add a little bit of a pop to this look. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into my Alma palette and I'm gonna use this really beautiful pink right here called Kindness and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that onto the front half of the lid and blend it into that red back into the red again and just kind of blend over. I don't want to lose that pop. I feel like the top is looking very dramatic. I'm going to go back into a little bit more of inspiration on the lower lash line. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and go into Petal, this shade right here, which has more of a pinky shift to it. And I'm going to pick it up on my brush first, just to get the product. 
and I am going to wet it just so that there's no fallout and to make it a little bit extra intense. So pretty. All right, so there is pretty much the finished eyeshadow. I do really like how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and take the Linda Halbury Anger Mood Eyeliner for my waterline. I looked for this pencil for like an hour and a half the other night because I knew I wanted to spotlight Linda and I could not find it anywhere, but eventually I did find it like right in front of me after looking everywhere. <laughs> so that was a fun discovery, but I feel like she's such an amazing makeup artist. Like her looks, they're all so different, but so beautiful. I feel like she just makes everything look so effortless. I love her artistry. I feel like I've really enjoyed most of the products I've tried from her. So we're gonna do a bright pop of red. This is probably gonna stain my eyes. I'm gonna look sick tomorrow. It's gonna be great. I will say though that if I hadn't found this, I would have gone into my ColourPop liner in the shade Charmer. I absolutely love this. It's the most beautiful burgundy shade and I feel like it perfectly matches inspiration in my palette. So I love those two paired together, but I did luckily find this one. All right, for mascara today, I'm gonna go into my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Thrive Cosmetics is owned by Carissa Bodner and their whole brand statement is that they donate for every product that's bought and they help a lot of women who have gone through cancer and different, um, just different things in their life. So I really love what they do and I actually really, really love this mascara. It's a little bit weird. I think it's called, I want to say maybe a tubing mascara because when you wash it off, it comes off in flakes and it's definitely took me by surprise, but I feel like it does do so much for my natural lashes. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that on and probably fast forward because putting mascara on is super boring. All right, for highlighter today, I'm gonna go into the Melt Cosmetics Illumination Highlighter, which I felt would be so perfect for Valentine's look just because it's the prettiest soft pink glow. I feel like I heard mixed reviews on this highlighter, but I actually really, really enjoy it. And also, I wanted to definitely include Melt Cosmetics because I feel like they are such an amazing brand. They're owned by uh, two best friends who started working together in a makeup store. They came out with their own brand and like look at them now, like it's so cool. So Dana Bomer and Laura Ariano, I wanna say. I just feel like they are defi the definition of girl bosses. So I love the brand, but look at that highlight. It's so pretty. I'm gonna go back into my blush and bronzer brush just to blend that out a little bit. All right, last but not least, we have lips and I'm actually gonna do the whole thing. I have a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss because I have three different uh, brands I really want to spotlight and I was trying to fit in as many as possible So first I'm going to go into my Gerard Cosmetics lip pencil in the shade ecstasy, which is kind of like a pinky purpley color and Gerard Cosmetics is owned by Jen Gerard Let me let me talk before I start doing this. I really like Jen I feel like she has such a heart for smaller influencers. I really like what she's been doing with her platform recently I really like the products. I've tried from Gerard Cosmetics so far uh, so I thought I would go ahead and include this one. I also just got the eye base that they came out with, which I'm really curious to try because I've heard good things. I haven't used it yet, and I didn't want to use it like as a first impression just because it looks a little dark for me. So I'm not sure if I'm going to like it because the color is like medium something and there's only one shade available. I'm, I'm going to line my lips. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, for lipstick, I'm gonna go into my Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse lipstick, which is a really pretty kind of muted pinky tone. I just thought that this would go really well with the look. And again, I absolutely love Lisa Eldridge. I look up to her. I feel like she is so classy and just, I love her. I love her, I love her, I love her. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna go into my Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade On Repeat. Dose of Colors is owned by Anna Petrosian. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her last name correctly, but again, I think she just feels like such a cool, down-to-earth type person. She's done so many amazing collabs, spotlighting other women, not to mention her lip product formulas are so good. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.